Opinion that matters. It's right here! Oh, you yours. It's Mike Galetta, and I'm AKA Hamilton Mike, bringing you another solid special along with my partner Brian the Ranger Atard. Today we go out to the NFC West, to the Southwest, to talk about the Desert Team, the team that unfortunately got a hurt quarterback last year, but I think is going to rebound nice this year. Local kid to the area, Anthony Cruz. Anthony, how are you today? Good, how are you? Atta boy. He's here to talk about the, the Cardinals, because why? We only have winners here, right? Absolutely. Only winners come to the no sports question. box. That's right. So, Brian, stat me. You want, to talk, you want to talk about winners. So, the Cardinals, 13-3 last season, first place in the NFC West. They did lose in the NFC Championship game on the road uh, in Carolina. Very, very balanced team. Uh, they were eighth in, in rushing, second in passing last year offensively. Defensively, sixth against the run, eighth against the pass. Uh, very, very balanced team, as I mentioned. In the first round, the 29th overall, they took Robert and Kondiche, defensive tackle from Ole Miss. Added Chandler Jones, didn't really lose anybody in free agency, had some big, uh, signed a lot of their own, uh, Teron Matthew, for example. Uh, they're possibly the most complete team in the NFL in those rankings that we just talked about, that, that shows it. Uh, top overall offense in terms of yards, defense top five as well. I think Aries has done a masterful job with this team, and the excitement around this team I think is rightfully there. Yep. Uh, David Johnson played very well in his rookie season when he took over the job, really hot fantasy player going into this season. Uh, Carson Palmer, defying age with another great season, he had fourth in yards in the league with uh, 46-71. 35 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. They're the sexy pick coming out of the NFC this season, no question. So, Did you just say sexy? So, they're a sexy That's pick coming out of the NFC. That could be a first on the fourth side. Right? Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> right, I'm sorry, cut you off. I'm so, sorry. Um, off. again, very balanced team, Anthony. Um, but, but offensively, what, what are we going to expect from a guy like Carson Palmer at this stage of his career with this kind of a team around him? Um, first, we're going to start with him. Um, I feel like he need, he's chasing after a ring here. I feel like him and also another veteran, uh, Larry Fitzgerald, absolutely. He's definitely going to be chasing a ring this year, and I feel like he has all the special weapons around him, uh, especially with the rookie last year, David Johnson. Yep. Had a came in towards late late in the season and had a remarkable outcome, and alongside Chris Johnson, especially mm -hmm. another veteran, um, ain't what he was when he was with Tennessee, but he's still a great back. Um, you think of the weapons that Carson Palmer has, like I said, Larry Fitzgerald coming in, um, uh, John Brown. Uh, J.J. Nelson, Michael Floyd, especially with um, Jeremy Gresham out there. Especially sure. But that, he has that strong offensive line, too. I, I feel like they're going to do very well this year. And from a defensive standpoint, I think their strongest point right there is their secondary. Yeah. Yeah, especially with uh, Patrick Peterson they, in their third-round draft pick, Brandon Williams, cornerback. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's uh, adjusting to the NFL due to uh, Patrick Peterson helping them out. Sure. He, they... Uh, we signed Tyron Matthew to the five years. Big deal. Yeah, yeah. Ve very big deal. Yeah. And uh, their, their linebackers led by uh, Dion Buchanan and Kevin Mintner. I feel like they're uh, very strong there. And also on their uh, defensive line with Clayus Campbell, who was in the Pro Bowl last year. Mm -hmm. I feel like they can really do some damage from offensive standpoint and defensive standpoint. The interesting part of the Matthew contract, you remember when he was drafted, he fell in the draft because of some off the field type stuff. And the contract he signed was very incentive laden because they didn't want to put too much into him in case he flamed out. He has rewarded them in spades in his production on the field. Uh, hell of a pick by Arizona. AKA the Honey Badger. The yeah. Honey Badger, that's right. <laughs> Only on sports boxes you get that information. <laughs> the worst information. So we look at the schedule, Anthony, and I'll tell you what, the Cardinals are as good as the team they have. They don't have a, a walk in the park. They're number one in, the, in a tough division in the NFC West. And exactly. You got teams like New England. Although they catch the wing on a good week without the infamous Tom Brady. Um, they catch the Buccaneers, which should be a hell of a game, by the way. Um, we're going to talk about the Seahawks, obviously, in our division. I mean, the Minnesota Vikings. But all in all, I mean, I don't know your prediction, but I, I feel that the Cardinals are going to be right on top again. And they're going to have a solid season. Definitely, yes. I feel like they're going to have a strong season. I, I just feel like the, the tough part of it is definitely 6-8 through eight when they're uh, against the Jets, Seahawks, and then at uh, the Carolina Panthers. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. I feel yeah. like they're going to want some revenge there. Yep, yep. Uh, going back towards last season. So, we, are we saying twelve and four again this year? Are we going a little yeah. higher? I'm going to predict twelve and four this year. Twelve and four. Okay. I feel like Palmer's going to come back after the knee injury a little healthier. They're going to come out with a little little fire. This I year. think it's going to be very interesting with Carson Palmer. We we talk about him. I mean, here's an aging guy who's still got you still got some skills left, but. You know, he is old man times catching up with him a little bit. So it's going to be interesting to see how he does this year. I think if you get have a good, healthy season, like you said, I think they're they're in real good shape. Yeah. You 
No, but I do think they are such a complete team yep. that, again, it's not ideal, but they might be able to withstand an injury to Carson Palmer, if it's not yeah. their, their whole season. I mean, they don't really have a lot of weaknesses on the roster. I mean, it's a very, very oh. well-built team. I mean, Arians deserves all the credit in the world. I mean, right. they, they, they haven't been a powerhouse in the NFL, and they've really become that in a short period of time. So just hats off to them. Yeah, and you got to think Chris Johnson got hurt last year. Who knows what would happen if he would stay sure, healthy last year? Exactly. Yeah, who gets about Andre Ellington, who's a talented running back, third string there. I mean, he could start yeah. a couple teams in the league. They're very deep. They really are. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, anything, anything else to add about the team? Or uh, I feel like uh, Carson Palmer, as older guy he is, reminds me of like when Kurt Warner stepped into mm-hmm. Arizona a couple years ago. Yep. He led them to the Super Bowl, but they eventually did lose to Pittsburgh, but. I see something like that happening this year where he's actually going to bring them to Pakistan, which is a Super Bowl. Well, like we said, if Arizona stays healthy, they could be definitely a force in the NFC. I think it comes down to who wins the division between them and Seattle. That's going to be so huge. If they, they can get that home field for that game, it's going to mean everything. It's very tough to win in Seattle. So hopefully for your to say 12-4, and four, if they get to what they get there, is enough to do it because that that up and down between the two of them might be the – who represents the NFC? And, and for me, you know, I, you know, I have anger issues, but they still have to change that symbol. I think they got to do something with that car. But that's that's a whole other story. We'll do, we'll get that on another edition of Sports Box for people that are really bored. So, Anthony, we want to thank you for coming by and talking about the Cardinals today. Really appreciate it. Um, and our trek for 32 fans for 32 teams. We're gonna do it. Goes on. Um, thank you for watching the Sports Box. We appreciate it. And remember, the only opinion that matters, Brian. It's right here. It's right here. And don't ever forget that it's right freaking here. Thanks for watching. See you. Don't forget to subscribe.